So an update on my new sun amp. So if you haven't watched my previous video, here's a short clip of how I ended my last video about my sun amp that provides my hot water. So last week I did see a small amount of leakage from here, from this, from this area, which is coming from this expansion vessel, which has got a bit of corrosion. So I thought, well, that's leaking. So I left a tray underneath to catch just the tiny, tiny drips that were dripping and obviously going down the side and then appearing as a damp patch on the floor. So I bought a new expansion vessel, exactly the same make and model, ready to bolt on. But like I said this morning, came in to see this dry and this dry, but uh, it's depositing water on the floor again. This phase change material, for whatever reason, it doesn't appear to have a very long lifespan. Anyway, I'll give Sunam the time to respond um, and let's see what happens. So hats off to Sunamp. They sent up two engineers from Edinburgh with this replacement unit. This is a 300E plus, I think this is called version five, with some interior modifications. And if you don't know what this is, and if you're visiting this for the first time, it uses phase change materials, same thing as a hand warmer, to provide my hot water. It's a really efficient way of providing hot water, especially if you've got solar or renewables. Why? Well, basically, one of the main benefits is it's really efficient and there's zero risk to legionnaires because it's not keeping 250 litres of water hot. It keeps around about seven litres hot at any one time. And then when I ask for some hot water, it instantly changes it through that chemical reaction of phase change materials which is, like I said, a little bit like a hand warmer. So this is called the 300E+, Plus, which basically means it's got the equivalent hot water cylinder size of 306 litres. But at 40 degrees, if this was fully charged and then turned off, I would have the ability for 436 litres of hot water when it's fully charged. So in the past, when we've uh, had an outage or a power cut, um, then for around three or four days, I've still had hot water out of this unit. A lot of people quite rightly said, when I turned down the valve, that I thought I was restricting the pressure. I wasn't, I was restricting the flow. So let me show you the modifications that Sunamp did to my system, which should have been done in the first place by the installers here on Orkney. But uh, let me show you what the problem was and how we solved it. So what we've fitted now is a pressure gauge and a valve in there that actually regulates the pressure. Now should the pressure vessel fail again, we've got this valve here that will open, it goes down that pipe and down outside it will drain outside. So it won't overpressurize the internal heat exchanger on the Thermino Sunamp. So this is the old pressure vessel and around this seam it started to leak. So that's why the system failed because the membrane between the two faulted and it overpressurized the system. What is inside one of these I hear you ask? Well thanks to my good friend Jonathan I went to his workshop last weekend and lo and behold, we managed to cut it open. And it's quite a simple device. It's just got like a, when the focus on the camera, it will basically just a, a rubber membrane. And um, yeah, so when I repressurize my new one, it basically equalizes where the water sits in the bottom and we've got air pressure in the top from the pressure valve. So what we can do is check the pressure in the pressure vessel, it's like a tire pump top. Now I've got this set to 2.5 bar. There we go. And it's a question of ticking that on the top and then letting it do its thing. There you go, that's 2.5 bar. Service completed. So there we go. I'm still really happy with this technology, more than happy with Sunamp. They were so fast to respond following my video and my genuine email and inquiries to, you know, why mine started to leak. But now we know. 
So thanks for watching. If you want to watch more renewable stuff, tune into that uh, playlist. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.